welcome to the scientific investor channel we are back after a short break and we will go through news updates and technical analysis of our favorite cryptocurrencies like xrp btc eighth and others we will look at uh, some twitter uh, updates say uh, something is going on uh, within the uh, xrp community yes uh, i've been uh, a bit busy for the last three four days i couldn't uh, do videos last three four days say from fifth to uh, eighth anyway now we'll look at the cryptocurrencies as we can see that most of our cryptocurrencies are bouncing back now this is xrp on a daily and we can see that this is more or less like a textbook double bottom that's a good sign but what we have to consider is we are getting a death cross here but i'll put that into a positive perspective see we got a death cross here say the 50 cross the 100 but the price was going to the upside right Ah, that's my mistake we got a golden cross and the price was going to the downside but right now we got a death cross and the price is going up so i believe that it's gonna come touch the 200 day moving average now that's uh, just my perspective anyway we'll uh, analyze that uh, in a higher time frame and uh, as well as shorter time frame say one hour four hour 12 hour and compare what the uh, technical indicators are showing at the same time we'll compare it with the news and the price action now this is the news for xrp showing the xrp volume of on-demand liquidity platform reaches new record level now yes we are getting these news almost every uh, single day because it's putting new highs like you know the stock market is at the top it's putting new high now this is a different story it's not compared to that right it's just starting here for xrp its volume is just getting started so now what you have to think is in the long run it's gonna go so high when you compare this this is a tweet from uh, hmx so it's showing a fabulous q4 more than 100 million volume to just mexican peso right around 108 in total so see just one corridor is giving you 100 million and that's kind of say 90 95 percent of the total volume that's too much say when this actually goes live into india into australia you know europe us and other corridors this will just rocket for sure yeah that's i'm talking about the volume now how it reacts or uh, reflects in the price has to be seen we don't know right we are all expecting for a bullish price action and currently we are getting that bullish price action see if we look at a four hour and compare it with uh, last week what we can see here is it's getting a uh, textbook double bottom and it's moving up high so what we have to uh, check is whether we are having a positive trend then yeah we can come back here test this or the price can actually bounce from the moving average to the upside now if that happens that's a really positive news because you know this is a photo chart and if you can see uh, what i'm showing you here say this uh, is a bullish flag here you know the pole is this and uh, uh, that's not a correct pole i'm not that good in drawing anyway that's a bullish pattern and we just broke to the upside right yeah i agree that's in a four hour time frame and we have overhead resistance at 0.233 where we are right now so if we manage to break that and go above that that's a positive news now here in four hour chart what you have to look at is say the macd you can see the MACD is in a positive area, right? And when MACD is in a positive area, that's actually a good sign. Now that's making it a bit easy uh, for explanation and the visualization. See, there's a bouncing here from the uh, smaller time frame moving average to the upside in four hour time frame. And looking at a 12 hour time frame, what you can see is which are, we are actually coming to the positive side. We are currently in the negative territory. I completely agree with that, but we are moving towards the positive side. And when looking at a daily we can see that our macd just crossed to the upside a couple of days before in our video say on third and fourth of this month we were actually talking about the same we are at the bottom because we are going to cross to the upside in a daily in the macd right we are using 12 and 26 right we are following with that now we are using the close data and in that we can see that previously yeah i agree that when we uh, cross that we went a bit down but 
once we started getting the volume we started moving to the upside right but that's in a bearish trend kind of or a consolidation but at present what i believe is it's the end of the consolidation and we are going to start a new trend here yes now that's kind of speculation uh, based on price action i can see i'll try to uh, live up to what i said i'll try to showcase that see this uh, previous candle here as we can see uh, is showcasing a bearish trend right like we were coming from the top to the bottom now this particular candle in weekly we got a uh, close above that right so if we manage to start the next week see the next candle from the here that's gonna be really good see this we started on the two and um, see uh, now it's already ninth for me here in uh, South Korea but in just some hours we uh, hopefully we will see the next candle opening up here yes we have a bit of uh, overhead uh, resistance in this area I completely agree with that but what you have to see is if we manage to move above that then that's gonna be a positive sign because we already got a bit of bullish divergence here see uh, the candle is moving to the upside and we are gonna get a positive uh, move to the upside here in MACD now that's what I, I expect uh, to get in a couple of days once we start the next week so now we just uh, talked about that bull flag now we are looking at uh, say we'll cover exam is over 45 percent I mean, positive news events and other things you know that's old news now this will be what we are looking at in just some days or weeks you see 45 percentage 50 percentage a day that was a there was a time when that used to happen right uh, mid 2017 uh, in between in 2018 we got that so basically we will get that today or tomorrow that's for sure and we'll go through the charts even during that time not only during the bad times but what we have to understand here is we are gonna get positive side every day now we just talked about candle closing right we just got a candle close here and an open here in a daily chart so we can see that that daily closed in a positive side so that's actually a really good thing now when looking at that what you have to understand is this is a candle which is showing you a positive momentum now you are getting long shaped bullish candles and it just crossed the 20 day moving average in a daily chart and it is above so personally i hope that that's gonna go way higher than that now this is actually showing you the xrp ledger transactions on on demand liquidity platform is so higher it's about 100 million in q4 now i'll just put my perspective on this say i saw a tweet from jack the rippler please unfollow and report these scammers like at xrp uh, mr and digital asset buys now as i just told you personally last uh, Four, five days i was a bit busy say from fifth to eight so i didn't actually follow all the news in the xrp community as xrp community member yeah it's my responsibility to do so but i was a bit busy with my family i couldn't actually do so but while sharing this what i'll say is i'll go through all the incidents that happened i'll analyze the scenarios based on my perspective at present i'm a follower of both of these guys and previously you know digital asset investors uh, YouTube uh, youtuber who used to inspire me at the beginning but now I'm a bit confused after seeing Alex Cobb's tweet that the damage has been already done and you know even if they are coming and saying sorry there's uh, nothing much to happen I'm not sure about that but anyway we'll uh, I'll go through that in say next video or so on now while looking at <coughs> cryptocurrencies we can see that xrp is in green for the week and bitcoin as well so that's within the first uh, top 10 so in that aspect we'll actually go to btc chart uh -huh, and we'll look at our btc chart see we are having a similar pattern right it's kind of a bit more bullish here in btc we are crossing above the 20 moving average we consolidated a bit there we bounced back so that's a even more uh, positive uh, price action for bitcoin Mm -hmm. on a daily now we are just zoomed in a bit and we are now looking at a four hour chart and we can see that all the moving averages like 20 50 and 100 day moving averages acting as a support right now in a four hour chart 
and that's actually a bullish sign now what you have to look at is here in a four hour chart the macd is gonna either get a bounce from here or you're gonna cross so if it's gonna cross that means it can consolidate in that area a bit more and then bounce up or if it is bouncing right now that's gonna be a positive sign see look at it in an opposite perspective see the price came here right it was about to break to the upside but it bounced below right so the same can happen if it bounces from here that's gonna be a positive news because if you are doing a technical analysis for uh, Bitcoin on four hour chart what I can see is we are getting a triangle here so if this triangle is to break to the upside then that's gonna be a much bigger positive news for all of the cryptocurrencies because this is Bitcoin right when Bitcoin moves it takes others along with it most of the time so now see based on uh, my perspective what i feel is say if we are gonna get a move to the upside i'll uh, say put 80 percentage of uh, this one say we can reach around 7800 7900 if we are to break to the upside in a positive way now yeah almost all the time that doesn't happen because uh, by the time it reaches here the 200 day moving average will be coming down and acting as a resistance so that can actually happen mm -hmm. now looking at a weekly chart we can still see that yes we got a bit of positive uh, momentum in the week weekly chart and that's a like, good news i completely agree with that and at the same time we have to see the mcd's at the bottom it's kind of bottoming so that means most of the smart money would be buying right now now that's my perspective because in this what i can see is say the 50 day moving average is crossing the 100 day moving average here that's a bullish signal for me see because the previous time when it crossed to the opposite side the price actually bottomed and it started a bit of consolidation and then moved up high right so at this particular time i feel uh, like it's going to be more bullish now when you look at that on a short term terms with you will be a bit confused but if you zoom out and put bitcoin on a daily or weekly and look say last two years three years four years you'll understand what i'm talking about now we'll look at a daily chart of bitcoin and we'll yeah, zoom in a bit and look what the trend is right now because you know previous technical analysis say the video on third we analyzed third or fourth i'm not that sure exactly but yeah i'll put that uh, link in the description so we told yeah it should be here because say ah uh, it's, it's somewhere here it's somewhere here say uh, 28th or 29th the video on 28th or 29th okay i won't put that in the description once we were bouncing here and was getting 20 day moving averages of resistance we talked that yeah if we go down and uh you know the sellers push us down we may reach here but now the scenarios are a bit different we are going to the upside right so that's actually a positive news mm -hmm. now we are breaking to the upside and if we manage to do so the next resistance level will be somewhere around 8800 8900 now that's in a long-term channel which we are considering from say july of this year if we manage to break above that that's gonna be a big gigantic bullish signal for the, any bitcoin buyer so if you are a buyer of this market what you should be expecting is a breakout either you should enter in the breakout or a retest so the retest yeah almost all the time the retest doesn't happen to the 100 percentage you can expect around 80 percent or 70 percentage but if you are a long-term investor yeah you can buy in it low price right if you want a dollar cost average your positions you can actually do that and if you're a short-term trader say you are trading only for one year or two year i consider that as a short-term trader so you should put your stop losses at some place where you are safe right if you're a long-term holder you don't have to care about your stop loss put it as low if you are leverage or not then it's your asset right you can hold it at uh, how, how many duration like you want now we'll actually go through a chart of ether as well and we'll uh, end today's video now as we talked in our last technical analysis uh, the resistance for uh, xrp is at this particular area. uh ether sorry that's uh, my mistake sorry for that ether is at this particular area and now we are bouncing at that area and we are getting a double bottom here now if we are to come above the 20 day moving average then yeah this area will act as a resistance see that's 160 162 or 158 to 162 mm -hmm. so what if we manage to come to the upside then that's gonna be a 
positive side. Say uh, the price will be trading in this particular range and we can expect a maximum around 190, 195. But yes, at the end of the day, this is cryptocurrency market and you can't predict anything. But technical analysis helps you to understand where you are right now uh -huh, and what you can expect. Right? These are all games of probability. You are not like you, know, you don't have that uh, golden ball to uh, know what's going to come. So at least you can be prepared for what is coming, right? So in that aspect, uh, you can see a uh, similar trend with all, like say XRP, uh, Ether, similar to that of BTC, because BTC is leading them right now. Once BTC have that bullish uh, cross to the upside and it managed to continue with that, that's going to be a bullish week ahead for sure. Now we just uh, went through uh, news related to XRP and uh, this is for uh, BTC. BTC and XRP account for 85% of exchange holdings in Japan. Mm, now that's really bullish news, right? You can see that BTC, XRP, Ether and you can see the value held. Now XRP is held more than Ether, BCH, LTC and all and yes BTC is owned by a lot. Now, what you have to think is fraction of supply. How much is that for the existing supply? So you can see that for uh, Mona, it's around 80 percentage and for XRP, it's 6.9%. That's really good news because considering uh, BTC, XRP, BCH and LTC, you know, the top 10 cryptocurrencies, that's really different. Others are like 0.7. They're allocating B uh, their value to BTC say 1%, uh, LTC say is 0.7 near by that. But for XRP, they are allocating around 7% and that's really bullish news uh, for the coming years. Now, Ripple Executive said XRP is poised to boost financial inclusion in the US and abroad. You know, financial inclusion is uh, something which will be changing uh, the future. Now, we I'm uh, reading a quote say we tend to think we are over banked in the United States because you could just go anyway and open a bank account but a fairly shocking statistic shows that 24 million Americans are unbanked alongside almost 2 billion worldwide he stated what you have to understand is 2 billion people in the world is unbanked take a country like China or India it only has a population of 1.3 when they are the top population uh, populated countries right still it's two billion people all over the world unbanked and now the new financial system is uh, trying to include all of them inside now when we say they are unbanked it doesn't mean that they don't transfer value it only means that they are unbanked right the banks need more uh, fees uh, conversion charges you know banks are extracting money from your value right so uh, it won't be easy for them to bring in a new customer who's not using that account so much, who's not giving them money, right? So in that aspect, they'll just close the bank account. So uh, that's a bad news. Now this is a positive news uh, showcasing that Santander Partnership produces DLT-based payment app for individuals. Now that's for individuals, right? Now that's really old news. So what you have to think is when these companies are coming up with something and they are using it and you have to just check Santander's annual report this time. They are expanding to US, right? So they started this journey, say, uh, 2016, they were actually stating that and now we are at the top, right? They are moving to the upside. Now when we just say that here, 12 hours ago, this news is published and it is showing that 24 million Americans are unbanked and a bit con just comparing, we just knew that last week Santa announced that they are going to come into US with their new uh, products, right? And they were working on this with a ripple from a long time. So they already did their uh, background studies. They are now just going to execute what they learned through their adventure. A strongly bullish outcome in 2020 is what this pattern suggests, meaning they are looking at uh, BTC. Some are actually looking at the first stop around 0.3, then 0.8, then yeah, we are going to go much higher. But you know, others are stating we are going to go to zero and you know, that should be the time when you are expecting a move to the upside. Now, Before closing the video, we will actually compare uh, BTC, sorry, uh, we will actually compare XRP 
to BTC because that's giving you a much more uh, clear perspective about the price action and uh, BTC terms see we are having a support here we just bounced off from here now we can see that the top for uh, this particular pattern is somewhere here so if you draw that we should read somewhere around uh, 3.70 unit satoshis and uh, we are right now breaking through the moving averages just we got the support of 20 day moving average right now the 200 mo day moving average and the 50 day moving average is acting as a resistance but soon we are gonna break about that now that's a 12 hour chart for that now we'll actually look at one day chart and the one day chart what we can see here is say we are gonna get a death cross here but usually with xrp what i've seen from last uh, around three years is when we get a bullish cross from last say at least uh, one year it's acting the opposite side we are getting a bullish cross but the price just started to consolidate and go down uh -huh. And when we are getting a death cross, the price starts consolidating and go to the upside. I don't know why that's happening, but it's happening. But what you have to look and be careful is you are getting a positive cross in the MACD to the upside, right? So if you're a long-term buyer, you should be buying this. Now that's not a financial advice. That's my perspective. So that's all for today. I'll meet you guys on my next video. If you guys like the content I provide on a daily basis, do support the channel. Please subscribe and like. We'll uh, meet tomorrow. Bye.